How's it going guys? Leon here and today's video is going to be part 2 of Architecture Student Hacks version 2. I already said part 2. Dang it. Okay, so I noticed that Architecture Student Hacks part 1 was fairly popular among you students and the purpose of this channel is to help those of you out there who are really struggling with architecture school because I struggled in architecture school I, I struggled real hard so I'm making this videos to help you guys out there who are struggling so let's get into the video guys technique number one so I call this technique the rubber band around two ball pen line weights pretty self-explanatory okay so what you need is two of your most used line weights for me I have a 0.8 and a 0.1 micron so what you do is you put your pens opposite each other and then wrap or tie them around with the rubber band. Okay, so what this technique does is it reduces the time that you spend looking for the other tech pen because it's, you know, when you're just writing, it's just there. So you just flip it on the other side and then voila, your pen is just in your hand. So probably gonna save you a couple of precious minutes or in my case, precious hours looking for your ball pen because there's a bunch of times I often lose my tech pens and spend you know ours looking for it this technique is specifically invented to avoid that situation so yeah moving on all right guys so technique number two so this technique number two i call this the candle technique so what you are going to need is a candle most preferably a white candle or like a transparent candle one of the uses that i found for the candle is putting a little bit of wax on the corner of your paper before taping it into the drafting board so by applying wax to the corners of your paper or your drafting plate you avoid that situation where you put the tape on the corners and then after drafting you remove it and a huge chunk of the paper comes with the tape so yeah that's what the wax does it's it saves your paper i should call this like the candle paper saving technique but it's too late to rename the technique now i already said the name anyways moving on to the second use of the candle technique number three um this is just a continuation of the candle wax technique or the candle technique what did they call technique number two I forgot. Anyways, so I use this technique when I am using watercolor. So what I do is I draw a couple of streaks in the windows. Okay, so this couple of streaks of wax on the windows won't be touched by the watercolor because of the hydrophobic properties of the candle. Hydrophobic. I know, I know that sounds super scientific. I, I just googled it a while ago. Watercolor doesn't usually stick to those parts, creating the illusion that there is glare or you know some sort of reflection on the windows in your perspective rendering all right moving on to tip number four all right guys technique number four so i call this technique the perspective hack technique i don't know why i did a bunch of karate i don't even know karate anyways this technique is another one of my forbidden nujitsu techniques so don't share this to your teachers or to your classmates who you do not like actually just share this to your classmates sharing is caring <laughs> anyways moving on so this technique is specially used when you are doing perspectives for this technique you are going to need two rulers a roll of masking tape and a couple of thumbtacks and maybe a couple of tiny binder clips okay so here's what you do you get your masking tape right here and then stick it to your skin or your clothes or your forehead if your forehead's really oily just do this you might look really stupid to your classmates while you're doing this but you know when they see what you are going to do afterward their, their minds gonna like gonna explode okay anyways anything that looks stupid but works is not stupid moving on so what that does is it removes a little bit of abrasiveness from your tape it makes your tape basically less sticky so that when you apply your tape onto the drafting plate it won't stick so much and it won't rip your drafting plate so after that put the thumbtacks on the sticky side of your tape and then mount the thumbtacks and tape on your drafting plate making sure that the tip of the thumbtacks is aligned with your vanishing points now that you've done that take your masking tape and then tape a couple of flappy things on the edges of your ruler okay after doing so you can now mount your rulers onto the thumbtacks on your plates so now that you've mounted this on your plate now you can do whatever you want to do with your perspective okay so what these rulers are is they serve as projection lines from your vanishing points so what this does is it eliminates the time spent aligning your drafting tools to the vanishing points and aligning it again you know all that sorts of stuff that i really hated when doing perspectives i eliminated those by this technique okay leon what if i needed to do like a freehand perspective technique 
I got you fam. Okay, so here's what you do. Get some fairly long dental floss, like 35 centimeter long dental floss, and then just tie the dental flosses onto the edges of your thumbtacks. Also, don't forget to put binder clips on the thumbtacks because you might stab your hand on the thumbtacks. Yeah, so yeah, don't forget that. Anyways, what this does is it again serves as projection lines from your vanishing points, thus eliminating the need to use straight rulers. There you go guys, those are my 4 tips, techniques, tricks, hacks, bamboozles in order to make your architectural student life a little bit easier. You guys might have noticed that my voice is a little bit weird or is it deeper, I don't know. Well, I've, I've been really sick this week so I apologize for my voice. Also, we already hit a thousand subscribers in my channel. Oh my god guys, I can't believe this is really happening. It's always been a dream of mine <coughs> to reach 1000 subscribers. So now we've reached it, on to the next dream, 100,000 subscribers. Anyways, cue the celebration video right here. Still not used to the teleporting stuff, guys. Anyways, let's get to blowing the balloons. Dang it. Eight hours later. Okay, we got our balloons blown. Now we just gotta... I'll stick it somewhere behind me, so. Whoo! There we go, guys. 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. that same evening all right guys so that's the celebration video again i would just like to thank you guys for supporting this channel and you know subscribing and watching all of the videos that i put out and sharing some of these videos and also maybe sharing this video to your friends or colleagues so yeah thank you guys for subscribing so don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below for what video you want to see next from me your boy lian <coughs> i'll see you guys on my next video flying cough <laughs>